Today we're glad to be chatting with, and you can go ahead and introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Eugenia Kuzmina. It rhymes. <laughs> <laughs> Very neat. So you got to tell us, how did you first get started modeling? How'd that happen? I was an ice skater, and I was always into costumes, you know, I, we did the shows on ice, and uh, one time, a designer, we didn't have a lot of fashion in Russia, you know, there was only one designer for like the whole nation, and I think he was looking for somebody fresh. I'm not really a conventional model, you know, I'm not like five foot eleven or five foot, you know, really tall girls, but... Um, he was interesting to see somebody who was really creative, you know, so he kind of found me and his name is Slava Zaitsev uh -huh. and uh, he brought me in and he took some pictures and uh, it was a surprise but that's how, you know, I kind of never thought about it because in, in Russia it wasn't anything that you can, you know, it, wasn't, it hasn't started yet, uh -huh. it hasn't had the hype as it has now, I uh -huh. think. Very neat. Well, your resume is pretty big here. I mean, you work with so many like designers and things like that. Do you have any favorites you've worked with or any anything? I loved working with Yves Saint Laurent. Mm -hmm. I think that was my dream come true and a real artist, you know, you would come to him and uh, he wouldn't see model without makeup and, you know, because for him it was it was like a creative process. Yeah. He would see you in makeup and like his vision, you know, you were his muse. And then he would uh, drape this dress on you and he would smoke. And it was just such an interesting creative process to be in his studio yeah. and then see the big show that he would put. That was incredible. And I work with Nicola Gasquier, uh -huh. who is um, at Balenciaga. I actually started working with him. Um, I was really young, 14, uh -huh. and he just came to the house, the Balenciaga house, and it was interesting to see how he grew and evolved into such an incredible designer that he is now. So it, it, it's always interesting. I've worked with Albert Albaz from Van, uh -huh. and he's such a, he's got such a humor, and you can see it in his designs and dresses, how, you know, you would sit there and it's interesting. They're they're a very interesting breed of artists. Very neat. Yeah, I don't yeah. know if people understand the whole process that goes behind it. Like you said, the creative aspect and just the whole process of it is so neat to learn. Um, how long do photo shoots usually last? The photo shoots, it depends. If you do an editorial, it's like a real story. It's kind of like a mini movie in pictures. Mm -hmm. So you go there in the morning. Sometimes you start like... 4 a.m. Oh wow! Especially if it's on location, because the best light is in the morning, like six or seven. Mm -hmm. um, so whoever thinks that we're lazy, you know, as models, it's not true. <laughs> we usually fly the night before, you know, so you land like at two in the morning, and then like at four you're in makeup um, and hair, and you, you know, a lot of times it's a process. It takes like two or three hours to get ready. If it's a um, editorial, if it's Vogue or you know, L. They have a storyboard, they have like creative ideas for this outfit, how they want to present. So you a lot of times you put extensions or you know nails and it takes forever. And then then you shoot for a few hours and you know just you never know how it goes on locations. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah and you know it's a it's a process like with the whole team so yeah it can can last like for for Days. Wow. <laughs> well, time I think I shot for 24 hours straight because really? we're trying to yeah find the perfect light for a location. Uh -huh. All about the lighting, yeah. Yeah, in Iceland, and uh, it was freezing oh. outside in winter, and we're trying to find that specific light for it, you know. And the picture came out amazing. You really? look, it's all like black sand, but. Yeah, it took a long time. <laughs> wow, I know, and you're probably like, I'm freezing, hurry up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a lot of times it's really like, you, you look at these pictures and they look so beautiful yeah. and they look so relaxed, but a lot of models talk that, you know, a lot of conditions are yeah. definitely not what they seem, but they look beautiful, so exactly. we are. Exactly. Where's your favorite location to shoot? If you can do any location, where would you pick? I love the Amazon jungle. Mm -hmm. That was incredible. We shot for replay jeans, uh -huh. for jeans, and uh, 
the company, they had the budget to go to Mississippi or to the Amazon. So the photographer was like, let's all go to the Amazon. <laughs> it, was, it was fun. It was so much fun. It's, uh, we stayed at this hotel. It's uh, built on the sticks in the oh, middle of the jungle. And they have, you know, all these creatures. Like they have piranhas in the lake and um, crocodiles. So I love it very much. Oh, my And like, that's out there that you can, you know, really go and see something new and discover. It was incredible. We had monkeys who would come, you know, for breakfast. Oh, my God. We would speak with, with the piranhas, which I think we were kind of <laughs> a little bit out there, especially <laughs> swimming in the Amazon River. Wow. But it's uh, it It's all an fun. experience within itself, huh? Yeah, yeah. You know, I have to say we have been really lucky. Like, as a model, I think that's the best that you can take, just all the traveling experiences and just seeing people or just seeing you know world in different ways so I've been really lucky with that very neat so tell us how would you describe your style uh, I think it's always kind of fun I don't think I'm it, it depends on like on the mood always but mm -hmm. I think it's always like fun and it has to be um, I like high heels high heels yes I think we were born in high heels, we come out of the womb in high heels. <laughs> you can see like Russian women in winter walking on ice and they would, you know, like snow in like 10 inch heels. So, yes, love it though. Yeah, I, I like that. Um, it's just kind of fun and feminine. And um, I like really creative style like Alexander McQueen or uh, Vivian Westwood, you know, somebody who like really goes out there. But um, like normally during the day and especially in LA, you know, it's just jeans and maybe some fun like rings, like I have this ring here, oh, which cute. is like a, you know, kind of like a primal thing. Yeah, I like it. Uh, yeah, but it's interesting, I mean in LA nobody dresses, so... It, it's always strange when you come out like fully dressed and an outfit. <laughs> I know, but like as girls, we love dressing up. Like you said, the high heels, just putting on the makeup, yeah. the outfit. We love it, so. Yeah, exactly. I think, yeah, I think it's interesting. You know, why not? Like, why exactly. not play? I think it's, it's always interesting to, I know. you know, yeah, be creative and, Definitely. yeah. Definitely. Now, do you have any makeup tips you can give us? Anything you recommend or... I learned that if you have red lipstick, that would go a long way anywhere. <laughs> because you can, even after like a long flight, you have to go to a meeting, or of course it depends which type of meeting you have. Mm -hmm. But if you have to go to a dinner or event, like red lipstick is kind of my savior. Yes. Or yeah, or I just put. Um, you know, it's funny because models don't wear a lot of makeup during the day usually. No. <laughs> Just because we wear so much makeup on the shoots, you know, we kind yeah. of like have to take care of the skin. But um, have just pink chicks always helps mm -hmm. like to kind of look refreshed. And I try to put white um, eyeliner uh -huh. and it, it kind of wakes you up, you yeah, know, it kind of like makes your eyes pop out and mm -hmm. look fresh and... Do you exfoliate also or use any like creams to stay young and everything like that? Anything? Oh yeah, yeah. I, I truly believe I never took care before, you know, of my face like with the sun before yeah. coming to LA, but yeah. I notice you have to, you know, as a woman to just to kind of you always have to hydrate it and I exfoliate it every day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I exfoliate the skin. Um and yeah, I put a lot of creams and always sunscreen and um, I take um, Biosil, you know, oh, it's yeah. kind of a, yeah, collagen drink and, uh -huh. to, you know, to stay healthy with that. Definitely. And tell mm -hmm. us, like for teeth whitening, do you whiten your teeth at all or? Uh, I, yeah, I have really sensitive teeth, yeah. so I have to be very careful with that, but I do, yeah, I have to do that. Um, I buy usually the stripes, you know, for yeah. whitening. Yeah, yeah, I wish I, I should find out more secrets about that, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I meet people, sometimes you're just amazed how white their teeth are, so it's it's on my list to learn how exactly. to. Yeah. And then go ahead and tell us, you were also in um, Demi Lovato's music video? Oh, yeah, yeah, I had a small part there, and it was kind of like just through a friend that I did, but 
such a fun shoot and she's incredible. She's such a warm person, you know, and um, the music video, it, we shot it in LA and mm -hmm. they built um, this whole set, they built the Ferris wheel, you know, and oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they put a lot of characters in there, and it was at night, we shoot like through the whole night, and um, I mean, she's so talented and so approachable, and we had so much fun on set, and I think it's so important when you work, and you know, when you're around, uh, when you're such a talented artist, it, it, it's amazing to see how, you know, available she is to everybody on set. Right. To, yeah, and very, very inspirational to work with her. Oh, really, fun. really great talent. And That's good to hear. It was, I, it was so neat, though, to see you in the music video because we love watching that, and it has so many views, too, so that's pretty yeah. neat. Yeah, yeah. And then yes, it's fun. Yeah, music videos are really different from, different. I think, everything else. Yeah, different set. Mm -hmm. Now, tell us, you're also in an upcoming movie, Fury, starring Brad <laughs> Pitt. Tell us about that. Yeah, it's a great movie. It's a guy's movie, you know, they're, it's about war and uh, they build the whole set in outside London. So they build like a German city and you can imagine tanks and, you know, Brad Pitt and Charlie Ball and Michael Peña uh -huh. on set playing, you know, oh like boys. You basically, yeah, I walk in there and it's like a boys camp. <laughs> wow. Just boots and dirt and... Just being part of that was so much fun. And um, my character, you know, she's like a rare woman in the film. There are not so many women. Uh -huh. It was wartime, but it was fun. I I saw the tank and I was trying to make the guys like, can I ride the tank? <laughs> Didn't have time for a lot of fun. And, you know, they're really, they were really hardworking. Yeah. It was really cold and... Um, it was interesting to see. And I love David Ayer. He's such a great director mm -hmm. and so great with actors. And Michael Pena, you know, all the guys were like training for this film. They were, yeah, it was a team, you know. Wow. It was interesting to be part of that, like, boys team. That is so neat. I mean, you're telling us this experience, but I can only imagine being there. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that is so yeah. neat. Oh, yeah, my God. You know, it, it's, it's a creation. It just, you, you walk into this world and you see all these people that, you know, you only see them, like saw them on TV or somewhere. Yes. And they're like all these characters. It's, it's incredible. And wow, literally, I'm thinking it's a dream come true here. <laughs> yeah, I know it is. Every day, wow. you know, I, I have to pinch myself. <laughs> Yeah, do, you have, do you have like a favorite um, film you've done or favorite experience that just really sticks out to you, most memorable? Um, yeah, you know, I loved working on New Girl. I loved working with Zoe this channel. It was, she's, she's so warm too and just so funny, you know, like mm -hmm. everything she did on set was, we laughed, like I couldn't stop laughing. I would come home, you know, to my husband and I would just laugh. Oh. <laughs> um she loves her dogs and they have pictures of dogs all over the trailers. Oh, really? And, um, yeah, and it's, um, it's such a warm woman's atmosphere. Her writers are always there and we would rehearse and improvise before shoot and uh, just kind of fill it out. And it was, it was a great set to be on and I love that show she's you know they do such a great job yes. now tell us you get intimidated watching yourself on this big screen or I don't know I, I, I think you know some actors say they don't do it but actually for me it helps mm -hmm. I think it just comes from modeling because you're so used to right you know, just see kind of yourself it kind of helps but I wouldn't do that just because you experience everything that there is, you know, you yes. kind of okay, what's next. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, exactly. Well, so. tell us, how do you balance work and your family and everything? How do you balance both? <laughs> Good question. <laughs> well, I think everybody have to kind of center themselves and ask what is important for them. And, uh, you know, I know that for me, it's very important to have, you know, to pursue my passion and... Yes. It's important for my kids to, you know, kind of see that. And I think what really helped me is I really realized you have to ask for help. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of times women would say, well, I work like 24 hours on set. I come home. Let me clean all the dishes. Uh, let me yeah. do everything. So I realized, you know, I'm not perfect. And like if I work 24 hours on set, I can ask someone, you know, mm -hmm. I can ask 
you know, a friend maybe to look after my kid or like help me with something yeah. or I can ask my husband, like if he can do that. But, you know, I'm not afraid to just, you know, be vulnerable in that because I think that's the answer. Exactly. That's what a family's of, about, for everybody to help each other, you know, your family to be there for you and you support them and them to support you. Mm -hmm. So that's Yeah, I think there's there are certain standards that are just impossible to live to and mm -hmm. you have to realize that, you know, your kids are, you know, you have to realize that you have to listen to yourself, what are family and for yourself too. Exactly. And how old are your kids? Uh, one is five, my son is five, and um, my daughter is two. Oh. I, yeah, I traveled with them. I traveled, I started working back um, after I had my son three months after. <laughs> and I have a stepson who is 12, and he lives next door, so we oh. kind of balance everything oh, <laughs> together. Awesome. That is so neat. Can we ask, where did your husband, you and your husband meet? Do you have a story or? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. We met through Katie Ford. She has Ford Agency, and um, I we met at the time when I wasn't looking for any relationship. Because as a model, you travel every week somewhere. So it's you know you kind of. I was going to just live my life, yeah. <laughs> you know, take it one day at a time. I wasn't exactly. looking at any kind of relationship. But then I met my husband, and. Um, we kind of really clicked because we saw we were interested in the same things. You know, he was interested in making fashion, I was interested in films. And I think it's all about having, you know, we kind of, we were really free. We didn't put any um, labels in our relationship and that's how kind of, you know, we take it one day at a time. That's neat. So, yeah, we were, we were set up by my age. Mm. <laughs> it was, that's how it happened. Interesting. Very neat. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then tell us, you, um, like, live by a healthy diet? Are you a healthy eater? Or? I Let's say I try to be a healthy eater. Uh-huh. Uh, I, I didn't, like, for me personally, the diet never works because the more I restrain myself, you know, I have all these girls' moments like, oh my god, no, you know, I have a job and like a week I have to like watch what I'm eating. But the more I do that, the more crazy I get. Yes, and, like, yes. I feel the best that works for me is if I just listen to what I need, like what my body needs yeah. to feel healthy and energetic and I will eat that rather than being like an emotional eater and just you exactly. know oh I don't feel good let me like you know eat like a <laughs> big box of cookies so that happens of course of know? course you can't resist I mean you have to eat like cupcakes and cookies mm -hmm. who doesn't want that they're so good yeah exactly so I, I truly believe that your body knows yeah. what you know what you need to stay healthy and I always wondered on set, though, if they offer you food um, mm -hmm. and it's, like, not so healthy, do you just go ahead and eat that? I mean, is that what happens? I always wondered that. Yeah, yeah I have to say, you, you get hungry, and um, I do eat everything. I do eat pizza and um, all the bad stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, and there are people who try to really, you know, bring things on set, and I think it's great if you can do that, but our life is so unpredictable that, you know, sometimes I... I just, I have the day of eating bad and then I have a day of, you know, eating healthy. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, we eat unhealthy on sets. <laughs> you do. I always wondered that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sometimes it, it's work and, you know, sometimes you don't have your shot until like 2 a.m. and mm -hmm. you have to have that energy and, you know, something inside. So you just go with what you have. You have to, exactly. And do you yeah. have a favorite fast food restaurant? McDonald's. Oh, McDonald's, yes. Yeah, yeah I, I remember when they opened it in Russia first time. They opened it in Moscow, and there was this huge line for oh two God. hours. And it was a treat for us to go to McDonald's. And I remember I was just obsessed. We would dream for the whole week just to go there <laughs> after the movies. And it was a huge treat. So I think it kind of reminds me of my childhood. Wow, yeah. What do you get yeah. at McDonald's? Do you get a Big Mac and fries, or what do you get? Yeah, I get a chicken McNugget, and a milkshake, of course, yes. and um, cheeseburger. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. good. <laughs> <laughs> and how about, yeah. like, uh, you guys have Chick-fil-A in California. Have you tried it? 
I'm not so, so much of a chicken person. I love fish and I'm obsessed about sushi. Like on a daily basis, I would eat a lot of fish and sushi. And uh, But I love Greek food. I used to oh, go to a lot of Greek restaurants in New York. They're oh. actually incredible. Yes. Oh, my God. I, lo I had a lot of Greek friends in New York. And I always love because, you know, restaurant is such a big, our dinner is such a big part of uh, their whole, you know, day, and you can talk to people, and everybody knows the chef, and the food is so fresh, and it's incredible. Actually, it's, I have to say, it's really, truly one of my favorite kitchens, and the fish, and like the way you cook it, and the oil. I love fresh food, like whatever it is. Exactly, definitely. And then go ahead and tell us um, one thing we may not know about you. I love motorcycles and I love adventure and I'm kind of a badass so I have blonde hair and a lot of my acts are about being dumb blonde but actually I love you know doing a lot of active things and kind of you know riding and doing karate and krav maga and <laughs> very neat how long have you been doing karate for uh, I've been doing it for five years, oh, and nice. um, it started as just a research for a project mm -hmm. for a role I was doing, and um, I kind of, I found it fascinating because it wasn't about violence, but rather about balancing mm -hmm. and reaction, and you know, it, it was kind of like a dance, so it was interesting, and you always see a lot of characters there, and it's a good physical exercise, yes, too. Yes, exactly. Do you think it's easy to practice that, or did it take some time, or...? No, it, it's really easy to practice. Well, they have a, um, kind of a world headquarter in Los mm -hmm. Angeles, so I always go there. And it is easy. It's kind of like boxing and um, stretching. And yeah, it, it's pretty easy. You can, I think everything is easy in life if you really want to. Exactly. If you put your mind to it, you can do anything. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. Um, and then we were going to ask you about your Twitter and Instagram account. How do you like using those? I'm learning. Instagram is not my strong one yet, but I, I use a lot of Twitter. I like Twitter because it's a great way for comedians. I, I you know, I do a lot of comedy store shows, and it's just a great way to kind of connect to people and um, you know send the message out. But I have to watch for those too. It it's been interesting because you know I tweeted about a job and I was fired from that. Oh no. <laughs> Yeah, you, you have to see, uh, you have to be really responsible, I think, for what you say um, and which messages you bring because your life is out there. I exactly. think all of us, we're so connected these days than ever before. So you have to be more conscious sometimes. You know? Exactly. Oh, my goodness. And yeah, you probably have like a lot of followers too. So mm -hmm. they're, they're all... Yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. I have to see, you know, that I, I can actually give something to people rather than, like, just, you know, reflect <laughs> out of, yeah. Exactly. You have to see what messages you gave. Now, if you could get a tweet back from any celebrity or any person, who would you like to get a tweet from? Uh, Ashton Kutcher. Ooh, Ashton Kutcher. That's a good yeah, one. Yeah, he's, he's very, he's very interesting personality. I think mm -hmm. he's got so much, you know, I think he's somebody... Uh, hard to nail because he's a very talented actor and he's got all these other things in his personality that yes. you know he gets back so that would be interesting yeah now you haven't met him before work with him no I haven't no. met with him uh, we were gonna do something for two and a half men but then they decided the character should be more American oh. which you know, worked with the story but yeah I, I've been up to you know his work all over how like advanced he is with reaching out his audience through social media and just making projects like in a new way exactly. living in a really modern world so I really like that exactly well I hope you get to work with him or get a tweet from him or something <laughs> yeah yeah thank you that would be neat